Todd and Julie Chrisley's trial in Atlanta over the last few weeks on charges of conspiracy to commit bank fraud, tax evasion, and obstruction of justice have been quite dramatic. While witnesses testified in the case, Todd was accused by a co-conspirator of having a gay love affair, and his daughter's testimony allegedly enraged the jury to the point of an outburst in court. The biggest surprise, however, was the married couple's eventual guilty verdict on June 7th. They intended to appeal the decision, but fans are concerned about what will happen to the younger children who are currently in their custody if they are imprisoned for their alleged crimes. The family has four adult children, two from a previous marriage, and one younger son, Grayson Chrisley, who is 16 years old. In addition, the Chrisleys have been raising their nine-year-old granddaughter, Chloe, in the aftermath of her father's substance abuse problems. Todd and Julie are currently out on a bond until their sentencing hearing in October, where they'd be faced with up to 30 years in prison. This poses a significant problem for Grayson and Chloe's future if their guardians are ordered to serve any such sentence concurrently. Former federal prosecutor David Haas explained one possible outcome. The legal expert stated that when sentencing parents or guardians, the court can consider minors. Overall, there's no absolute guarantee about what may occur, but if Todd and Julie Chrisley are both sentenced to prison at the same time, either Nanny Faye, Todd's 78-year-old mother, or one of the older siblings will likely take custody of the younger two children. Another possibility is that they're given relatively short sentences. Todd Chrisley will be allowed to serve his first sentence so Julie can continue to care for those children and she will do her bid after he's released, or vice versa. We know of at least one other reality TV star case where this has occurred. Teresa and Joe Giudice of the Real Housewives of New Jersey. In 2013, the then-married couple was charged with a conspiracy to commit wire and bank fraud, similar to the Chrisleys. However, the Giudices eventually agreed to a guilty plea with prosecutors, where Teresa received only 15 months in prison and Joe received 41. Due to their four young daughters at home, the courts allowed them to stagger their sentences, so Joe surrendered himself upon Teresa's release after less than a year in prison. There's also the question of how the Chrisley's guilty verdict will affect their popular shows on the USA Network. The rest of season 9 of Chrisley Knows Best will still be released this month, but the 10th season, which was greenlit prior to the bank fraud trial, is reportedly in jeopardy. As a result, the likewise greenlit next season of the adult kids spin-off Growing Up Chrisley may be delayed. However, the network may be able to work around this situation as Bravo did for Teresa Giudice during season 6 and 7 of The Real Housewives of New Jersey. To reiterate, Todd and Julie Chrisley's circumstances are a bit different and more serious, as they've been previously accused of defrauding banks of up to $60 million in order to break even on their huge monthly expenses. We'll keep you up to date as the family awaits formal sentencing. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next one.